wondered why you or someone you know gets the munchies when you smoke weed. Or maybe a more relatable question would be ever wondered why someone does not get the munchies while you're downing down a third piece of cake. Let's find out! To understand how weed affects appetite, we first need to take a look at how your body controls hunger. The need to eat is quite complex and involves a wide range of signals from both inside and outside of the brain. In mammals, multiple systems are responsible for ensuring that you don't die, including the one that tells you to eat. And a lot of these signals have something to do with the brain, but some of them also start in other parts of the body. There are three main types of signals that help control food intake, and it's a mix of short-term, medium-term and long-term signals. First of all, the short-term signals you receive from the digestive system, then the short and medium-term signals respond to nutrients absorbed or processed by organs involved in your digestion and energy storage, and lastly you have long-term signals that adjust food intake based on the body's overall metabolism. And these could be signals that the gut sends to the brain to help control meal size and hormones like ghrelin, cholecytokinin and peptide YY. Some of these hormones are released by your stomach or your intestines while you eat or after you eat and these hormones also circulate in your blood and you have hormones like leptin and insulin. And these parts of your body, the parts that are responsible for controlling hunger and satiation, also express cannabinoid receptors. And cannabinoid receptors are spread all over the body and you can find them in the central nervous system and also in the digestive system. And everything in a human body is connected, so it's not possible to isolate or like pinpoint a single part of the brain or single part of the body which is responsible for getting the munchies. But we do have some tips. As you would expect, the molecule responsible for a wheat side is THC. But who's responsible in your body? Now we have some studies done on mice models and as I always say, keep in mind that humans aren't just massive rodents, so just because something works in mice, it doesn't mean that it will work on you. But it also doesn't mean that the data is irrelevant. Anyways, in mice, THC interacts with receptors in the olfactory bulb in the brain, which increases the ability to smell. And in these mice, THC also decreases olfactory habituation. You know, that feeling when you smell something like a perfume or a fart, and after a while you get used to it and you don't smell it anymore? Well, it decreases that. Many are sure mice can't just tell you if they feel anything or not. So how did they find out? Well, apparently. Sober mice stop showing interest in these like test smell oils after a while and they just stopped sniffing and lost interest, while high mice sniffed for a longer period. High mice also ate more pellets. And mice who were engineered to lack these cannabinoid receptors actually did not express this behavior and sniffed and ate normally even after ingesting THC. So it's quite probable that based on this munchies could come from this part of the brain. So yes, technically part of the reason you might be so hungry or more hungry is sensory enhancement. The world smells better and food smells amazing. But it's just a part of the puzzle. THC also interacts with receptors in nucleus accumbens, which might increase the feelings of pleasure while eating by releasing more dopamine and in limbic forebrain, which also increases palatability. So subjectively, Food might be a better experience while high, it just tastes better, it smells better, it tastes better. You want to eat it. And in hippocampus there are neurons called propimelanocortin producing neurons that control appetite stimulation and are key drivers in reducing the urge to eat once full. And these two are influenced by THC, which can make you feel more hungry even if you already ate. And not only that, THC also interacts with receptors in the hypothalamus and small intestine, which leads to releasing ghrelin, which is the hormone that promotes hunger. Hypothalamus is also responsible for regulating food intake. And the mechanisms which increase levels of ghrelin are decreasing levels of peptide tyrosine tyrosine and activating mTOR. And yeah, sure, this is all interesting, but were there any studies done on humans? As you can probably imagine, especially if you work in customer support, dealing with humans is a bit more difficult than working with rodents. But we do have some studies. 
For example, this study did not deal with brains, but it did deal with motivation. And this study focused on appetite and eating-related aspects of cannabis self-administration. And the survey focused on psychological changes like initiation, maintenance and termination of eating, including motivational, emotional and sensory factors that determine when, what and how much is eaten when intoxicated. Six themes were identified. Eating for pleasure rather than need. For example, I start to eat even when I feel full. Loss of control when eating. For example, when I start to eat, I can't stop. Increased salience of food. For example, someone mentions food, I want to eat. Taste. Food tastes different. Increased hunger. I feel hungrier. And increased sensory pleasure. The sensation of chewing and swallowing food is enhanced. The results indicate that weed influences motivational factors that lead to eating and hedonic factors that make you keep eating. And this effect might be somewhat decreased with age and it was also reduced with frequency, so there seems to be some kind of adaptation. So basically, smoke more weed, get less munchies, although it's not like completely linear. And the effect was also higher for recreational users compared to medicinal cannabis users, although we don't have a reason why. Could be that people who use cannabis for health-related purposes kind of struggle with eating in the first place, but we really don't know. And by the way, the most common answer to what food is most appealing after using cannabis was overwhelmingly anything slash everything. But are munchies all that bad? Well, you might not enjoy eating while you're stoned or you enjoy eating while you're stoned, but you hate it when you sober up. It's not all that bad. Weed can actually be helpful in a multitude of illnesses such as medicinal cannabis that can stimulate appetite. Some people might feel nauseous either due to the illness itself or as a side effect of the treatment, for example with chemotherapy. And having something to help these people eat more is definitely positive. But it's also not all good, right? This response, the need to eat more after smoking weed, is actually stronger in people who are already above their healthy weight, which can cause them to eat more and get stuck in this circle. And with these mechanisms, weed can actually prevent you from losing weight. And since humans are humans, there actually have been attempts to hijack the system to prevent people from eating. And they developed this drug and that was supposed to block these receptors. So it would do the opposite of munchies, right? It worked well. People lost weight. They also lost all joy in life and became suicidal. So the drug was not approved. As of now, people are also working on marijuana strands that would reduce your appetite by increasing their tetrahydrocannabivarin percentage, which works a bit differently from like THC and is actually seems to reduce your appetite. But if you do want to smoke weed and you get the munchies and you want to eat less, you might try a different way of ingesting weed as the absorption rate of THC also seems to influence the level of munchies you get. And different strains with various terpenoid levels also have different levels, so you can experiment with that. And you might also want to stay away from high THC strains. But that's it for today's video, so I hope you learned something new and interesting, and thanks for watching. Have a great day!